This is the final episode of the Humpy series and I have saved the best for last. Virupaksha temple is a 7th century Shiva temple and the oldest one located in Hampi. It is located next to Hemkuta hill and there is plenty of parking space available towards the east side for you to park your vehicle and reach the temple. You can access the temple's main entrance tower through the street in front, now popularly called as the Hampi Bazaar. You'll have to leave your footwear at the entrance before you go inside. The main tower on the east side is 9 stories and 50 meters tall, which was built in the 15th century. As soon as you enter the Virupaksha temple, you have three things to notice. The first one is a Nandi, which is three-headed, which is quite unique from the other places across the world. And it's supposed to stand for creator, preserver and destroyer, basically Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. It was the original Nandi statue which was inside but because one of the uh, heads is broken over there, it's been replaced. Once you are done with that, if you take a look at the entrance, you will see a metallic frame that was created and put in by the Britishers because the structure was actually weakened and it was going to fall. So you can see that as well. And the third thing as soon as you enter is the emblem of Vijayanagara Empire over here. That's the moon, sun, sword and a boar which is the avatar of Vishnu which is supposed to signify that basically from sun to moon till Vishnu's blessings are there Vijayanagara Empire will continue and keep fighting on so let's go inside and have a look around The original worship place was only a few separate humble shrines and over centuries the temple has gradually expanded into a sprawling complex with many sub-shrines, pillar halls, flag posts, lamp posts, towered gateways and even a large temple kitchen. Once you enter the second courtyard, you will be greeted with an elephant named Lakshmi who lives inside the temple complex. At the main temple entrance, you'll notice two huge structures of Yali, which is a mythical creature having horse's body, lion's face, fox's ears, peacock's hood, and trunk of an elephant. Look at the roof over here, you see there are a lot of colors which have been used. The thing is, Virupaksha temple was built between 6th to 9th century to begin with, and then multiple kings and emperors have actually uh, contributed to it and expanded it. The colors which you see over here are set to be used and created through vegetables, fruits and different kind of dyes naturally. So even after like thousand years, the colors are still here. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's here. So if you notice, all the pillars here are of a different structure. Some of them have been carved inside, some of them have been carved so that the 
sculptures are outside that's because there were multiple emperors who were expanding this particular temple and so everyone did it their particular way basically trying to ensure that they have something different being contributed and that's why you'll see all the pillars over here and the different structure all together At the entrance of each door you will see these big rocks and on that you have these inscriptions basically tells you which king their what who got funded and how was that fund used all those things are written over here obviously we can't read it it's in a different script all together but that's where you will find it after exiting the temple we decided to catch the sunset from matanga hill top Right now I'm standing on the Vijay Vithal Bazaar and you can see there's a huge stretch leading you all the way to the temple. This particular place was the one where a lot of foreigners used to come here, Asians, Persians, Arabians for trading horses, for trading gold, silver, spices, pearls and so on. At one point of time, it is said that there were more foreigners in this particular location than the locals you can take your vehicle all the way to the base of the hill as well from the virupaksha temple after you walk the 1 km long hampi bazaar you will see the monolithic nandi and next to it is the stairs to the matanga hill where we are going for sunset that was the original plan and we did do it but we trekked our way from the other side of the hill that is from the east side next to achutaraya temple i wouldn't particularly recommend that path so we decided to trek once again the next day for you guys to check out the right way of trekking this hill and the following clips are from that time This is the starting point for Matanga Hill and you got to go all the way up there to catch the sunrise or sunset. There's another path to go to Matanga Hill which is right from there. You have the big Nandi statue over there and then you'll actually end up towards the back side of this hill and then you'll be able to climb up. And here we are again whether it's Bangalore Chikmagalur or Hampi trekking another mountain and trying to see the world from a different perspective Oh damn I love the mountains so much So throughout the whole trail you have markings laid out which will tell you the correct direction so make sure you follow them to reach to the top Just five minutes into the hike, and you can see Virupaksha Temple over there. The view from the top is quite cool, and you can see majority of the monuments from there. But to reach there, at the end of the day, there is a struggle for sure because you have already walked so much. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So after a 10 minute hike we'll come across the final stretch which you see over here which is slightly tricky because on the left side if you notice there isn't much support so be careful go slowly take your time and enjoy the hike
And with that sunset, it's a wrap on Humpty series. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like. And until next time, have a good one.